Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. I've got my sweatshirt on because I'm out here in Florida and it is freezing today. We're waiting for the launch of the Falcon 9 rocket right over there and we are only about two and a half or three miles away from the launch pad. This is the closest you can get to it. So we're really uh, gonna get a great view of this rocket. It doesn't look like much uh, on screen right now, but I'll give you a zoomed in view of what it looks like. And you can see this is what I'm actually gonna see with my eyes when it lifts off the pad. I'm gonna zoom in the camera there as well. So you'll get a glimpse of it too. So it should be a, a pretty good scene. Now this is the third time I've been out here since Sunday. Uh, they've had a lot of issues come up during the course of this uh, of these launch attempts. This is not unusual. These sorts of things happen all the time. So on Sunday night, they had perfect weather, but an Air Force radar went down. So uh, they had to uh, do some work to get that back up and running. Uh, yesterday, upper level winds were too high for the rocket to launch through. So that uh, scrubbed yesterday's mission. But today, so far, knock on wood, everything is looking good for a spectacular sunset launch. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a look at that. If it doesn't launch today, uh, it's not going to be able to go until February 20th. And the reason is, is that the moon will be in a certain spot in space that will impact uh, the, the, the satellite's ability to get into the spot that it needs to be a million miles away from Earth to monitor the sun. And you can check out my preview video to learn more about uh, what this Falcon 9 rocket is launching. So uh, gravity is a issue here. So they're hoping to get this up tonight uh, because if they don't, they're going to have to wait until February 20th to uh, get everything up off the ground. This rocket has to launch at exactly the right time at 6.03 p.m. tonight. Uh, so there's no way they can delay it at all. So if it misses that 6.03 launch time, then we're going to have to reset until February 20th. The one thing that they've changed on this mission from uh, the preview we did earlier in the week, they are not going to try to land this one on that barge that we talked about. And the reason is uh, that there's some pretty bad weather out in the ocean and the barge uh, is really not able to stay stable. A few things about rocket launches that are really hard to translate on video. Uh, the first thing is the sound. So you're going to see this thing lift off the ground before we actually hear it. That's because it takes time for the sound to travel from all the way over here uh, to where we're standing. So that is the first thing to look for tonight uh, if we do get a launch. The second thing that is really interesting is the brightness. Now that's one thing that really does not come over on the video. You're going to see it bright on the video, but uh, when you're looking at it, it's almost like looking at the sun. It almost hurts your eyes uh, to see these rockets lift off. So you ever do get a chance to see a rocket launch in person, I highly suggest uh, you try to get out here to uh, catch one of these live because it is really an amazing experience. So we're going to sit back here and await the launch and hopefully we'll see it lift off the pad in a few minutes. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and we have ignition. And there it goes. Now you notice we're not hearing anything yet and that is because it's going to take some time for the sound to travel over here. Look how bright that is. You cannot I cannot explain to you how bright this rocket is in person versus what we're hearing. And here comes the sound. What a sight. I can feel the air shaking right now. And it's almost going straight up in the air. This is the trajectory it has to take to get uh, to where it's going. Normally it's a, it's a little bit of a less steep incline for uh, some of the other missions that they do with these. I'm hoping we'll be able to see the staging when it happens, when they uh, jettison that first stage. We'll see. Yeah, you can see um, a neat shadow coming off the plume here as well. And the Falcon 9 is off the pad and delivering its cargo. There's the main engine cut off. And 
So that is it. The Falcon 9 is off at delivering the Discover satellite to its uh, new location, which will be a million miles away. It's going to take about 110 days for Discover to reach that point, but it is on its way. I'd love to hear your comments about whether or not this is the kind of coverage you'd like to see uh, on the channel in the future. So please leave your comments below and let us know if uh, this is something we should keep doing. This is kind of a little bit different than our usual technology gadget reviews, but I think this is really cool stuff too, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the coverage over the last couple of days. This is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching. Thank you.